Hello and welcome again to Table Talk. This is a weekly video and reflection guide so that you can gather around the dinner table or small group table in order to continue to learn and grow from our Sunday morning messages. I'm Mike Holly, one of the pastors at Asbury United Methodist Church. We are now in the season of Lent, and as a church family, we'll be reading through the Gospel of Mark together. Our scripture reading for the first Sunday of Lent was from Mark chapter 1, verses 14 through 20. And it includes the calling of some of the first disciples. Hear these words. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in the boat, mending their nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Mark's gospel is likely the earliest of the four gospels, and unlike the gospels of Matthew and Luke, which cover the birth narratives of Jesus, Mark jumps right to the very beginning of Jesus's ministry. Jesus is baptized by John and immediately goes into the wilderness to fast and to pray. Mark quickly turns to the beginning of the ministry of Jesus by the 14th verse in the first chapter, where the message that Jesus preached is summarized. What stands out to me in the calling of the disciples from the first chapter of Mark is that ordinary, everyday fishermen in the area of the Sea of Galilee seem to just immediately leave their homes and their work when Jesus simply says, follow me. James and John even leave their father, Zebedee, in the boat with the hired men. Jesus simply calls them, and they go. Pastor Robert Mercer preached in our traditional worship service this past Sunday, and he pointed out that some of us would likely stay in the boat. We may be so afraid of failure that we don't even try. We may be so tied to the busyness of our lives that we may not even give Jesus and his message a second thought. The Gospel of Mark does not tell us if the disciples were ready for a change or if Jesus was just so persuasive that they had to leave their nets in the boats for something else, for something more. What Mark seems to say is that whether or not we are ready, Jesus comes to each and every one of us and calls us to follow him and to bend the totality of our lives toward him and his way. As we begin our study of the Gospel of Mark, discuss with those around the table with you about the message of Jesus. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe. What do these phrases mean to you and how do they summarize the ministry of Jesus? Think about your own experiences as well. How have you left behind something or someone in order to explore what God is calling you to do? or who God is calling you to be? How has the good news changed your mind or changed your life? Take some time to consider these questions and remember to click on the link below to download a Table Talk Reflection Guide with questions and other resources for your conversations as you faithfully worship, serve, and grow.